Hi everyone, this session is about designing the non-deterministic finite automata. Let's get into the examples. The first one is designing NFA which accept the string 1100 only. That means NFA should accept only string 1100. So the starting state is Q0 and the first symbol must be 1. So it has to reach the non-final state that is Q1 and second symbol must be 1 so that it is reaching the state Q2 and the third symbol must be 0. Q2 on 0 it is moving to the state Q3 that is non-final state. Q3 on 0 it is reaching the state Q4 and Q4 is the final state and this is very simple and easy example. The next example is design NFA to accept the string contains either two consecutive zeros or two consecutive ones and the language is defined over the alphabet 0 and 1. Two consecutive zeros means the string should consist of two zeros as a substring and before this it can have anything and after this also it can have anything and either two consecutive zeros or two consecutive ones that means the string can have 1 1 as a substring in it and before this it can have anything and after this it can have anything and in the question it is given like two consecutive zeros or two consecutive ones that means there are two paths to reach the final state start designing the NFA starting with the Q naught is a starting state and with a single zero it is reaching the state Q1 with another 0, q1 on 0, it is reaching q2 and q2 is a final state and before this it can have anything that is 0 and 1 and after this also it can have anything like 0 and 1. With this it can achieve two consecutive zeros. One more condition is given that or it can have two consecutive ones so that q0 on 1 it can reach the state Q3 and Q3 on 1 it can reach the state Q2 that's how we can achieve the two consecutive ones. This path will give two consecutive zeros and this path will give two consecutive ones. Next example is design NFA which accepts strings containing 100 as a substring over the alphabet sigma equal to 0 comma 1. Containing 100 as a substring means 100 zero zero should be there in the string and before this and after this it can have any number of zeros and ones. So start designing the NFA. Q0 is the starting state and Q0 on 1 it is reaching the state Q1 and Q1 is a non-final state. Q1 on 0 it is reaching the non-final state Q2 because the substring must be 100, 100 so that we need to write one more zero so it will reach the final state that is Q3 and after reaching Q3 it can have any number of zeros and ones and before this 100 also it can have any number of zeros and ones before this 100 it can have any number of zeros and ones after 100 it can have any number of zeros and ones the next example is design NFA which accept set of all strings containing third symbol from the right side is 1. Third symbol from the right side is 1 means the minimum length of the string is 1 and this is the first symbol, this is the second symbol and this is the third symbol from the right side. So that the third symbol must be 1 here. So here it can have 0 and 1 in the second symbol. In the first symbol it can have 0 and 1. The minimum length is 3 so that to implement it we require 4 states. Starting with the Q0. So this is the minimum length that is 3. So third symbol from the right side is 1. So that here we need to keep 1 and the second symbol there is no restriction so that we can put 0 or 1. The first symbol from the right side is there is no restriction so that we can put 0 and 1. One more important point here is 
one is the third symbol and fourth symbol there is no restriction and fifth symbol there is no restriction from the right side that means the string can grow in this direction if we keep some symbols here then one is no more a third symbol from the right side so that we should not put anything here it can grow only in this direction to implement it we can write a loop on the q node with 0 and 1 as a symbols we cannot put any loop on q3 if we keep any loop on q3 one is no more a third symbol from the right the next example very easy one design nfa which accepting all strings ending with 0 1 that means the string should end with 0 1 that means after this one you should not see anything before this it can have any number of zeros and ones start designing the nfa with the starting state q naught here the minimum string is 0 1 so that q naught on 0 it is moving to the state q1 and q1 on 1 it is moving to the state q2 and q2 is final state we should not write anything on q2 because the strings should end with 0 1 so before this i can have anything like 0 and 1 the next question is very interesting design nfa for the strings of the format a b a b power n such that n greater than or equal to 0 and it is defined over the alphabet a comma b that means the strings of the format a b a b power n if we keep n value equal to 0 we will get the string a b a that is a minimum string if n equal to 1 we will get a b a b and if n equal to 2 a b a and 2 b's will be there that means if you observe here it can have zero number of b's 1 b or 2 b's and one more observation is after seeing this b's a's should not be seen that is also one more observation so let us start designing the nfa q naught is the starting state and the minimum string is a b a Q0 on A, it is going to the state Q1. Q1 on B, it is going to the state Q2. And Q2 on A, it is going to the state Q3. And Q3 is the final state. Now we have designed the minimum string ABA. And after this, it can have any number of Bs. So that can be specified as with a self loop on Q3 with the input symbol B. But after B, it should not see any A's. We should not put any loop on Q0 also because all the strings are having a prefix A, B, A. The next question is also very interesting. Design NFA all binary strings containing the third symbol from the left is 1 and second symbol from the left is 0. Now the condition is given third symbol from the left is 1. Third symbol from the left is 1 that means the minimum length is 3. First symbol from the left is this one. Second symbol from the left is this one and this is the third symbol from the left. So there is no restriction on the first symbol so it can be either 0 or 1 and second symbol from the left is 0 so the second symbol must be compulsory 0 and the third symbol from the left is 1 so it should be 1 and there is no restriction for the fourth symbol and fifth symbol from the left that means the string can grow in this direction but it cannot grow in this direction if it is growing in this direction and this won't be the second symbol so the string should not be grow in this direction let's jump for the designing part the minimum length is 3 so that q0 on 0 it is moving to the state q1 So now it is representing the minimum of length 3 and the restriction is third symbol from the left is 1. So this is the first symbol from the left and this is the second symbol from the left and this is the third symbol from the left. So now the second symbol is 0 and the third symbol is 1. Second symbol is 0 and the third symbol is 1. And first symbol is either 0 or 1. And the string should not grow in this direction. And here it can have any number of zeros and 1s. And string can grow in this direction.
The next question is a brainstorming question. Design NFA has set of strings. Some two zeros are separated by a string whose length is 4i and i is greater than or equal to 0. And two zeros are separated by a string whose length is 4i. So let us find the length. When i equal to 0, the length is 0. When i equal to 1, length is 4. When i equal to 2, length is 8. In between these two zeros, it can have 0 length or 4 length or 8 length it can have. If it is considering 0 length, the minimum string is 0, 0. That means there are no more strings in between this. Suppose it has a 4 length, that means 0, 0 and in between it can have 4 ones. And there is no scope for zeros. If I keep zeros here, these two zeros are not separated by a length of 4i or these two zeros can have 8 ones can be there in between these two things. That means these zeros must be separated by a string of length multiple of 4. So let's start designing the NFA. The minimum string is 0, 0. So starting with Q0, Q0 on 0, it is moving to the state Q1 and Q1 on 0, it is moving to the state and Q2 is the final state. In between these two zeros, it can have a length of multiple of 4. In between this, we will design a length of 4 strings. So this is the length of 4, length 1 and length 2 and this is length 3 and length 4. So that we have to write 1, 1, 1 here. And some zeros must be separated by length of 4 so that before this it can have any number of zeros and 1s. After this also it can have any number of zeros and 1s. These two zeros must be separated by a length of 0 or 4 or 8 or multiples of 4 so that is 4i and after this and before this it can have any number of zeros and ones please do subscribe thank you for watching